passive income. What's up, Money Geeks? Mr. V here. Welcome to another video, guys. In today's video, we're going to be talking about something that's dear to me passive income there are several ways in which you can actually generate passive income some people you invest in real estate um, some people they write books and sell them on amazon you know you create a, a maybe a course or something and put it on uh, on udemy and and sell those there are several ways you can generate passive income but another way that you can go about doing it is in the stock market so if you can invest in stocks that pay dividends so dividends is pretty much companies uh, paying you for owning their shares you know which is kind of crazy when they make money they pay you know dividends to their shareholders that's the simplest way i can actually break it down to you but that's a very easy way for somebody to build passive income so if you can identify really good stocks that are paying you that uh the dividends you can make money off of that but to make enough money that can sustain you you'd probably need to have um, some good amount of money in there. I'm talking somewhere between 50 and $100,000 to really start seeing some good monthly income come in. But to get to that point, it takes a lot of work. So you have to start building it now. So um, I'm building um, my dividend portfolio in M1 Finance. I know I've talked about how great M1 Finance is to you. Um, Robinhood just recently came out with their fractional share options, you know, they have a list so i'm on the list I, I, robin hood and your list i don't know everything to them is a list 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 they can't just roll out stuff so i'm on the list i'm waiting um so i'm completing now right now once that it once i finally get access um would it be m1 finance or would it be robin hood and i'm thinking it might be m uh, robin hood because robin hood whenever you place your your trade it executes with m1 finance i only have one window with your free account that i have which is i think uh 9 a.m for me uh central time so if i place my trade after 9 a.m it would wait until 9 a.m the next day to execute unless i pay for their premium membership um, before they can execute it but with with uh, robin hood the minute I, I place my trade it executes right there and then and i'm done so i might have to you know reconsider my strategy with who i'm gonna go with but for now since i'm still on the list with robin hood um uh, fractional share investing i'm gonna stick with m1 finance and keep you guys posted so um let's jump on the computer so i'm going to show you guys what my portfolio looks like come on this is my m1 finance portfolio um as you can see um m1 has this whole concept of a pile so this is my pile broken down into two i have two individual piles that uh, combine to form my main uh, pile so as you can see one is real estate the other one is tech um and so um I have about uh, just a little bit over four grand in this portfolio, and the gains are uh, eighty, uh, one hundred eighty-three dollars. So if you break it down here, market gains is one hundred and twenty-one dollars, uh, and end dividends is sixty-one dollars. So this is the this is the part that excites me, um, because whether the market is going up or the market is going down, you're getting that dividends uh, continually coming. So that's why I'm trying to build this portfolio to to really get and. Uh, Right now, cash on hand, I have $23 um, dollars to be able to buy if I wanted to buy anything. So um, my goal is to turn on um, auto invest at some point so that when I get money, dividends or whatever comes in, I, that should just be reinvested into my account. Um, that's the eventual goal. So um, in each each of this one has um, has some stocks. So you can see. Um, what I have in there as far as options or so, uh, my holdings are one, two, three, four, five holdings in there. So my tech stock, I have one, two, three, four, five options. And so um, this total combined, that's what forms this portfolio. So if I show you all my holdings, so this is everything that I own in this M1 Finance dividend portfolio. Ten, um, so 10 different holdings total. Um, this is how much average I paid per stock for each of these companies. Um, this is the cost that I paid uh, when I bought them. Um, this is what the, it's worth right now. Mm. And most of this, I just got them uh, just the beginning of this year. Um, and so, 
and then this is uh, the gains that uh, I've gotten from the stocks uh, just over a short amount of time so this is looking pretty good not um, crazy returns but at least looking positive I mean we're down twenty dollars here that's about five point seven percent but hey um, you gain some you lose some the most important thing is that we're getting paid dividends um, every month um, on, on a lot of these this stocks here so if you can see here um, this is how much dividends I've been getting paid um, just for the short amount of time that I own it so just in January alone I've gotten four dollars so let's just round that to 480 almost two dollars um, five dollars and fifty cents um, right here in December last year three dollars in November um, just 43 cents so my goal is to build this enough to the point where when you come in here um, every month I would have because my goal I want to have at least 20 um, between 20 and 30 good solid dividend stocks in here um, to start with and so every month I should be getting that money come in pay, getting paid those dividends and collecting them and reinvesting them and growing this so um, yeah this is my dividend portfolio again I'm going to show you guys my holdings here um, it, it, you can actually um, you know do your research and figure out what you want I got some stuff in tech or the real estate um, you know, here's one other thing I want to show you guys real quick so if you go um, on the, my pile I have another one here that's uh, healthcare I haven't bought any stocks in that pile yet so let's say we'll open it up um, I have all these um, stocks in here that I'm going to eventually buy and add it to my portfolio so that is the goal so you can create uh, you know as many piles as you want and then use them in, in your portfolio so um, like right here if I say add to my portfolio it would ask me what percentage of my portfolio I want to be this um, particular pile and that's what's going to show me um, um, uh, up front so let's go back here so again guys um, I'm excited here so see we're starting on a good foot so I got $61.70 uh, um, in dividends and the goal again like I said is to grow this account so every month I'm going to show you guys um, what I've been doing uh, what I'm buying um, and where my my dividends are coming from and how I'm reinvesting that dividends back into the account and growing it so hopefully by the end of the year or uh, looking at uh, maybe f getting some side hustle money and buying more stocks and growing this account to uh, maybe fifteen or twenty thousand um, dollars and eventually maybe in the next couple of years or so um, grow this account all the way to um, like maybe a hundred thousand dollars and getting good dividends uh, from that so just to mention one quick thing right now I'm actually on the fence with um, M1 Finance and, uh, and Robin Hood as far as um, you know, using and for my dividend investing um, one of the reason is because um, M1 Finance I use their free option which is what you see right now so um, they also have another option where you can pay um, but right now they only have two trading windows so they have a 9 a.m. and a 2 p.m. so if you place um, a trade at say 10 a.m. tomorrow morning that trade doesn't execute for me using the free option doesn't ex execute until 9 a.m. the next day so if you see a stock dropping rapidly and you're trying to stop the bleeding uh, you place your trade it's not going to execute until the next day and when it executes the next day it's executing at the market price at that particular time so if you if a stock was dropping let's say from a hundred dollars to 80 to 70 and you was like oh I, I want to get out you put in your, your trade the execution takes place the next day when that stock is down to forty dollars see you could have stopped it but they just won't let you do it so um, it's a little bit frustrating I don't know why again the goal is to try to make sure that you know I'm not uh, in a bad position so I'm gonna I'm gonna consider uh, Robinhood I have um, something set up in Robinhood already as far as dividend portfolio so I'm just gonna combine the two in Robinhood just because um, the trading window is wide open so I can place a trade anytime um, of the day during um, a trading window from 8 a.m. to uh, 3 p.m. my time and that trade would execute um, whereas with M1 it has to wait till 
yeah let me know if you have any questions if you haven't already please um, I'll advise sign up for M1 and get your free ten dollars to get started with investing it's free money um, I, I don't think there's anybody that complains about free money so take advantage of the free money and, and start your investment journey that's all I can tell you for now <laughs> so as you can see guys um, passive income is something that's really nice if you can have money sit there and work for you while you're doing other things taking a nap uh, traveling or taking a vacation you're still getting some money come in it's really really good so question of the day what are some of the passive income ideas that you have? Let me know in the comment section. If you like the video, go ahead and give that thumbs up. If you find it useful, share it with one friend. And if you can relate to what we're talking about here, helping people become debt free and start building wealth, definitely let me know in the comment section. And as always, stay motivated.